are not given they are taken. He was of course writing in the British political tradition where civic freedoms and political rights are seen as legal entitlements that come from specific moments, from specific contracts, the Great Charter, the Bill of Rights or whatever. They're not seen as imminent, inherent or universal. The problem with that alternative vision is the lack of enforcement mechanisms. If rights are just assumed to be there for everybody rather than being enforced by elected representatives, then they can be the finest and noblest principles in the world and without the means to enforce them, it's meaningless. Look at the Constitution of East Germany or the Constitution of Czechoslovakia or of the Soviet Union. There you see all these fine, high-minded freedoms and yet, as the peoples of those unhappy states uh, realized, without democratic accountability, it's not worth the paper it's written on. I'll close by quoting Benjamin Disraeli, one of the few times the old adventurer got something spot on when he said, to the liberalism they profess, I prefer the liberties we enjoy to the rights of man, the rights of Englishmen.